This is outrageous. How can you tell me you had a date? Oh, well, Bethany sort of railroaded me into it. What did you think I was going to do? Book a table and then sit on my own. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. Do you need a few more minutes or are you ready to order? Oh, um, I've not had a proper look at the menu yet. We're too busy chatting. Yeah. I think I'm going to go for the steak medium rare. Okay. The Valentine's Day menu is really nice. Everything on it is an aphrodisiac. Yeah, asparagus, pomegranate, oysters. Oh, no, I don't really like oysters like that. Yeah. Slimy thing. <laughs> Can I just get the mushroom risotto, please? Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? First date on Valentine's Day. Well, strictly speaking, it's our second. Well, to be fair, you might have uh, wiped the first one for you, know what I mean? Yeah, it was a long time ago. Oh, we're totally smashed. <laughs> Look, don't be embarrassed with all that. Wow. He is going to start licking her face in a second. I know. When are they going to come up for her? <laughs> she's going to feel like she's been through a car wash when she comes up. <laughs> With the windows down. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we don't have to worry about going through any car washes tonight. Too right. Nice bit of dinner. As mates, no complications. Me and Susie Birchall went to see a psychic in Blackpool once. Four foot nothing he was. Face like a badly made meat and tatey pie. <laughs> Bit of a looker then. <laughs> he told me there and then that my love life would be complicated. I think that's one way of putting it. <laughs> if you could bring just one of them back for one night, who would you pick? Brian? Well, he was definitely the best looking out of all of them. Lovely hair. Perfect teeth. Very manly. <laughs> Trouble is, if I brought him back, his mother Ivy had probably come with him. Well, oh, like Princess Diana. Three people in the marriage. Mm. Anyway, never mind about me. What about you and Craig? <sighs> Not great. You know, if I could turn the clock back, I'd do things differently. I'd be clear about what I wanted. I'd be honest. Compromise is the key to a good relationship. You have to try to meet in the middle. And if you can't, you might as well go your separate ways. I got them to put on extra cheese. You need... Cheers. Don't mind me asking, um, what really happened with you and Eva? I thought everyone would be over that by now. I know what happened, but what I mean is, why? What made you cheat? Honestly? Ego. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid male pride. Two gorgeous women on the go. I thought I was living the dream. At least you're honest. Yeah, well, it's better late than never, I suppose. I was such an idiot. Now I threw away a life I'd give anything for right now. Is it not too late to go back? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's too late. What about you and Gary? Think you two will ever get back together? With his pregnant mistress living across the street, what do you think? <sighs> yeah. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Not for me, Ta. I'm supposed to be taking it easy. Oh, please, you need to help me out because I'm determined not to get legless this time. <laughs> no, 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 I've got an operation coming up. Oh, wow. Um, nothing serious, I hope. And I'm donating one of my kidneys to Arcana. Wow. What a hero. <laughs> I've seen so 